Hi there students. This video is about words that are talking about denying responsibility or proving that uh, something is wrong or not true or speaking against it. Now notice all of these words are formal. Disavow, abnegate, gainsay, refute, rebut and repudiate. Okay, so let's start with to disavow. To disavow, to deny the responsibility for something. The second one is to abnegate, is to reject or renounce your responsibility, not to do what you should be doing. The third one is to gainsay, to speak against. Yeah. The next one is to refute, to deny something is true. No, I didn't do it. To rebut, which means to give evidence that something is not true. To give opposing, an opposing argument. And the final one, to repudiate, to refuse to accept or to turn your back on. Let's look at these in a little more detail now. So to disavow, to deny responsibility or support for something. So for example, the editor disavowed the racist statement of his reporter. So maybe he, the reporter said something very racist and the editor said the newspaper has no responsibility for this. The newspaper does not support the words of the author. A leader could deny violence that took place by members of his group. He's washing his hands of it. He's disclaiming it. Yeah, he's disavowing uh, that the group has responsibility. So maybe many of us disavow our responsibility for global warming. We say it's not our fault. We're not doing anything to make global warming worse, but we are. You could disavow something because you say that you didn't know anything about it. So, for example, the president denied any knowledge of the bugging of his rival's headquarters. I didn't know that they were doing this, so I'm not responsible. Yeah. You can also use to disavow to say something is wrong or bad or of little value. This meaning is a little less common. The singer disavowed his early songs because he thought they were no good. They were of very little value or quality. Okay, so to disavow, to say you have no connection with something. If you like to disown. Okay, the next word is to abnegate, okay, to renounce or reject, particularly to abnegate responsibility for something. So if somebody has an obligation to do something and they're not fulfilling their obligation, then they are abnegating their responsibility. This collocation to abnegate responsibility is works quite well. Um, the politician abnegated the moral high ground uh, by acting immorally. Okay, So to abnegate, abnegare, to not do what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah? Not to comply with obligations or responsibilities that are seen to be good or desired. Yeah. Um, so the uh, teacher 
abnegated his responsibility to teach the students and just chatted to them about general things all day. To abnegate. We can also use abnegate meaning to give up a right or a claim that you have, to deny yourself something. So a millionaire can have any luxury he wants, but the millionaire abnegated luxury. So he just lived like a normal person without buying all these flash and expensive things that he could buy. To abnegate a right, the accused abnegated his right to a lawyer to defend himself. So he was accused, but uh, he didn't get a lawyer. He abnegated his right to get a lawyer. Most normally we use to abnegate, meaning not to do what you're supposed to be doing and what's uh, the, uh, the right thing to do. Okay, to abnegate. So if you go to school, you should uh, learn. So abnegate your responsibility to learn, to abneg abnegate your uh, obligation to try your hardest. The next one I like, the next one is to gainsay, is to deny or contradict a fact or a statement. To gainsay, gain against, say, speak. So to speak against. So I said it was big and he gainsaid me. He said it was small. Okay, so to gainsay is to speak against what someone else is saying. Notice as well, to gainsay can mean to prove or give evidence that something is not true. So, for example, um, the weather, the warm weather, the, hot, the warm winters that we're having, gainsay people that say who that claim that uh, global warming does not take place this is like to give proof against new evidence gainsays the statement of the accused it speaks against them it disagrees with it contradicts so one thing can gainsay another can contradict another for creationists, nothing can gainsay the words of the Bible. So here, to gainsay meaning to speak against. They, creationists refuse to accept anything that does not go with this. So to gainsay, to challenge or to oppose by speaking. Yeah. So as I said, the recent warm weather over the last 20 years gainsays people who deny the existence of global warming. The usefulness of a dictionary cannot be gainsaid. Okay, so it's impossible not to say that uh, a dictionary is useful. So to gainsay, to speak against, um, to show that something is not true, to contradict with. But I think to gainsay doesn't quite go as far as to prove absolute, absolutely. And notice, gainsay, gainsaid, gainsaid. It's an irregular verb. Okay, the next word is to refute. To refute is to deny something is true. So Bart Simpson always says, I didn't do that. He refutes that he did it. To refute a statement, I refute that statement. To refute can also mean to prove that something is wrong. Okay, so uh, the hot weather refutes uh, the inexistence of global warming. I, I challenge you to refute what I have just said, to deny that it's true, yeah? I think, okay, so evidence refutes 
the accused's version of events. It's similar to gainsay and it's similar to this idea of to contradict. Um, I refute your allegation, okay? I deny that it's true. I would like to disprove it, to deny, to reject, to contradict. Okay, so to refute, to show that it's false, to deny the accuracy of. Um, the evidence refutes, speaks against what he said. Okay, to prove a theory or a statement or an accusation is wrong. Normally by argument or by evidence, but to you can also overthrow something by proof, to refute something that is true. The next word, verb is to rebut. Okay, to rebut an accusation, to rebut a claim. Okay, to prove something is false or an accusation is false by giving evidence. Normally to rebut has the idea of giving evidence to the contrary. Then maybe people have the uh, possibility of, uh, of deciding if your rebuttal is valid or not. So to refute, I say that this is not true. I prove that this is not true. To rebut, to gainsay, to speak against with evidence. Okay, the original of this to rebut has the idea of to butt with your head or to butt, to hit back. Okay, um, so in legal English, to rebut talks about to speak in uh, against the other person. So you have, um, in a trial, you have the prosecution and the uh, defence. And one speaks and then the other probably tries to rebut what the other one has said. Okay, notice as well, to rebut has a slightly different meaning as well, meaning to push back. So um, the explorers were rebutted by the extreme storm, to push back. She rebutted his advances. She pushed his uh, advances back because she didn't like it. I think with rebut, we have this idea of giving evidence that something is not true. Trying to prove something is not true by giving evidence. I think to refute, is we are denying that it's true. And maybe refute can also mean to prove that it's not true. To gainsay, to speak against. Okay, so you could rebut an attack. Yeah, the uh, uh, army advanced, but they were rebutted by a strong enemy defense. Okay, the last one, to repudiate. To refuse to accept, to reject. So, I repudiate violence. To deny the truth or the validity of something. To repudiate an allegation. You could repudiate somebody's authority. Okay, so it's got an idea of to turn your back on. To divorce yourself from. Okay, in legal English, to repudiate has the idea of not paying a debt, not fulfilling an obligation that you should, uh, that you have taken on, abnegating an obligation if you like. Um, so he repudiated the debt, he refused to pay it, but that's legal English, okay? Let's see, to repudiate comes from Latin and it gives the idea of to cast off or to divorce yourself from something. You could repudiate a son. You turn your back on and disown. Uh, he repudiated his lover. Yeah? To 
divorce yourself from, to uh, distance yourself from and uh, not, mm, not know, if you like, to claim that you not know. Okay, so to repudiate, to divorce, to turn your back on something, to deny the truth of something, to refuse to have anything to do with, and legally to refuse to pay a debt, okay? So, to repudiate. Mm, I have the idea of to repudiate meaning to hate. So, she was a drug addict for many years, but finally she repudiated, turned her back on drugs and didn't touch them anymore. Wow, so all of these words are formal words. I think probably to abnegate and to gainsay and to disavow are the three most formal ones. These are eight, nine on a scale of formality. They're way up there. These are words that you should only write in a formal document. I think to refute, to rebut and to repudiate, these are also formal words, but slightly less, maybe seven or eight, but they're still very formal words. Notice they're all regular verbs except for to gainsay. Disavow, disavowed. Abnegate, abnegated. Refute, refuted. Rebut, rebutted. Repudiate, repudiate. Gainsay, gainsaid, gainsaid. So let me just go through them one more time. To disavow, to deny responsibility or support for. Okay, it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm not responsible for this. The president disavowed any knowledge of the uh, bad behaviour. Okay, he disavowed the bad behaviour because he didn't know about it. To abnegate, not to do something that is good for you, something that is good that you probably should do, particularly to abnegate responsibility. Uh, he, uh, maybe a parent that doesn't look after their children is abnegating uh, the um, the responsibility of giving the children the care that they need. To gainsay, to speak against, to show that it's not true, to prove untrue. To refute, to say, I didn't do that, it's not true, it's not me that did it. To rebut, to give evidence against something. To say you're not responsible, but by giving evidence that show that uh, you didn't do it, that you're not responsible. And then to repudiate, to reject, to turn your back on, to repudiate something uh, that you used to uh, approve of. You could repudiate a debt as well, not pay it. So, to refuse to fulfil an obligation, it's a bit like abnegate as well. To repudiate, yeah? To deny your responsibility. So, there you go, quite a lot of complicated words. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Disavow, abnegate, gainsay, refute, rebut and repudiate.